Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below if you want to get access to over 25 of my swing dance courses online for free. Okay, guys, I'm going to be taking a look at an improvisation by one of my favorite swing dancers of all time. I would say he's in my top five. Uh, his name is Thomas Blanchard, and he's dancing with Carol Martin. He reminds me of Harold Nicholas, which is the younger Nicholas brother. Fred Astaire at one point said Harold Nicholas was one of the greatest tap dancers he's ever seen. So if, if he's revered that much for tap dancing and I compare Thomas to this dancer, you guys can see how much he means to me as a dancer. He was one of my original teachers. I learned so much about syncopations and timing with him, and I can't wait to see what they do in this improvised performance, and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. All right, that's an old picture of him. Okay, there we go, they got a live band. Wow, this is gonna be good. Video by Social Swing, Pavia Labs, nice. Live band, here we go. Five piece. Oh, this would be the song they pick for him. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yes, that was great. Look at the smoothness of his movement. And he's, he's got this ability to really learn how to put on the brakes when he needs to. And Carol is right there with them. Yes. Hey. There we go. Your turn. <laughs>
some guy with brief bright stockings too. Yes. Well, when you change your mind about me, why I'll never know. I guess I would find a new, a brand new kind. All right, man, nice and simple, super nuanced. I love it. I love it. Yes, that band was pretty dope too. Excellent, guys. Wow, guys, this was really interesting on so many levels. I, it's weird trying to pinpoint how I feel and put it into words, but I'm trying the best I can when I make these videos to give you guys that honest feeling of what I uh, sense in the moment. And in this particular performance, I feel like I haven't seen a friend in a long time, and I finally got a chance to see that friend again. And the friend just took up the last memory that I had of them and just basically took off where we left off. <laughs> That's what I feel when I watch Toma on this presentation. I mean, this presentation was analogous to the last presentation I saw a few years ago. And I, I think that's admirable on so many levels. And I, I think it's a little different this time because I, I think before COVID hit, a lot of dancers were having momentum. You know, people were building and they were still working toward refining what they do well. And I got, a, I got a chance to see Toma kind of at that apex of quality of his movement. He's, now I got to tell you, he's kind of in this, this bridge between those dancers who have inc an, a large amount of elasticity in their movement, just an enormous amount, versus those who don't have that much elasticity in their movement. And because of that, their movements are more tight and it allows them to move and stop more quickly. And so the thing that makes their dancing stand out is that you see j just this beautiful contrast and surprise of moving and stopping and, and, and in a way that kind of looks more flamboyant. But this dancer is kind of in between. He's always kind of been in between. So sometimes you can see smooth movements with his, his connection with his partner and his footwork is a bit more tight. You know, that doesn't really impact his partner a lot of times, but you can see that middle ground with him and there's just a handful of handful of other dancers that I really respect who have this quality and my favorite part in this performance was this part right here you know you know he's constantly doing what he does best which is creating just irregular shapes and doing things that are very familiar and um, I love these moments right here where he's able to slow down and stop with his partner. Normally, he's really known for his syncopations with his footwork and his energy. But in this performance, you can see that there's a tremendous balance of what he's naturally good at with the things that he's constantly working on. Like that moment there where they come to a complete stop. You know, that tends to be the strength of those dancers who are less elastic. And the contrast, in fact, it looks maybe even a little better where that spot that that spot where uh, Carol stopped uh, would have been even more surprising. But in this one, I still feel like the surprise was there and I feel like the contrast is there. And I love that. I love to see my heroes constantly growing uh, on those areas of dance where normally they wouldn't be naturally gifted in. And I feel this is where Thomas left me off the last time I saw him. This is this is what it was like. And I think that's cool. That that's really, really cool. Now with Carol, I don't I don't have a whole lot of performances that I've I've video, you know, watching her, but the last thing I remember was the same. She's able to hold her ground. And it's interesting because most of the time when I see Thomas dancing with someone, it's usually with someone his height level. And I don't feel like he upstaged her at all. I feel like her movement was just as important as his movement. And uh, even her solo, I love the solo here when she comes out. I, it almost looks like it wasn't expected, which I kind of like that feeling when I see uh, dancers get out there and just 
show us how they feel in the moment. But I loved what she did. Of course, I love what T Toma does. He has this ability of making his solo um, jazz movement fit perfectly with his uh, partner dancing. And there is no real sharp contrast between the two. So overall, guys, I enjoyed this performance. I got exactly what I expected. I didn't expect this to be, um, you know, just transcendent on just, just some new level. I got what I wanted, which was I, I want a reset. I want to go back to what I felt I had the very last time I saw this dancer perform. And that is something I expected. And this is a lesson to learn in dance. You know, as dancers, we're always working on different things at different times, but it really takes a certain level of discernment to be able to have self-reflection and look at your dancing as a whole and say, you know what, you know what, where am I? What am I going for? Who am I? What's my style, my natural abilities? How do I hone in on those things? And I think Toma has really set up a template for his dancing that makes it very easy to recognize. A lot of dancers don't do that. They just are constantly changing and, and adjusting and they kind of get lost trying to find maybe the perfect technique or the perfect routine. But now I feel like his dancing is mature. I feel like it's really mature. And I love to see that because I could just see a silhouette and I can tell you who it is. It's just that beautiful to see that. And not many dancers have that quality. So I'm inspired. Yeah, I'm inspired to continue working on my own craft. And uh, I look forward to hearing what you guys thought about this one in the comment section below. Please let me know. What did you think about this? Do you think it was pretty good? Did it meet your expectations? Let me know in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Take care.